Oh, yeah, paddle. Oh, okay. Paddle. You're going sideways. Paddle me, peasant. Go and get. Get off me. Well, get off me. <laughs> no, nah, don't do that. Here, I'll turn you around. I was enjoying that. What? Catching a ride. Oh, I'm sure you were. I could see what this Hey guys, thanks for joining us back on Just Swinging at Homestead. Um, so this episode, we're actually taking a break from doing any chores or projects or you know working on the homestead. Uh, we actually decided to take a few days during the Labor Day weekend and uh, go camping out in uh, Iowa. So uh, here's some just some fun footage of that and kind of hanging out and enjoying each other's company. Uh, Hope you enjoy it, and we will be back to doing projects and working on the homestead on the next video. Thanks for watching. Nice woods back here. So it is Labor Day weekend, and we decided to do something a little different. Uh, we decided to do an Airbnb in a tent. Not a normal tent, though. I mean, no, it's a it's a bell tent. It's a really nice size. Um, canvas tent that uh, it's actually super nice. It's got a full size bed and it's 100% glamping. Have electricity ran into it. <laughs> we have really good cell service, so we do have the internet. Um, but it's awesome, actually. It's nice to just be able to like get away, you know, even though. Yeah, we could probably sit around, drink beer at home, buy a fire, but it's different. Oh, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Just because we have so many projects that need to get done at home, like, if we were at home, we wouldn't be doing this. Nope. We would be doing projects. So, just kind of nice to get away for a little bit. Um, we're staying three nights here, and we looked at all kinds of different you know we wanted we didn't want to stay in a hotel or anything like that we didn't want to stay at a campground um so we were looking at tree houses we were looking at yurts um these bell tents christy almost tripped and died <laughs> uh and then we found this well so we were looking you know we're in northern illinois so we were looking in the surrounding areas within like a six hour drive and uh, we found this really nice bell tent um, in Michigan in the, upper in the Upper Peninsula, but it was actually booked by the time we decided that, you know, we were looking at like 40 different properties. By the time we decided to, that we wanted that one, that one was booked, um, but we ended up finding this one and we're happy that we chose it. It's, it's really nice. Super quiet. Quiet, peaceful, relaxing. The host is amazing. Yeah, yeah, she's super sweet, super welcoming, friendly, very accommodating. Um, so, awesome host, awesome experience so far. 
uh, their it's properties. Cold, it's cold. It's like nighttime. It's like 50 degrees. It's cold. I think it feels good. Yeah, this is probably the river. So yeah, their property, they have 40 acres here. Um, heavily wooded, which I absolutely love. I'd have... We wanted something remote in the middle of nowhere. Because anytime like we go away somewhere, we want to like... We? I, want, I was going to say. I want to go like sightsee and do all this touristy crap and... Which is fun sometimes, but... Sometimes it's not... Vacation isn't relaxing when it should be. So right. that's what we wanted. We this time we different. didn't want to do anything. Oh, no, just another little shallow pond area. The host did warn us to be careful where we're walking um, because she got tore up by poison, poison ivy. Not poison. Poison. <laughs> she got tore up by poison ivy not long ago. So she last had like, weekend. oh, last weekend and she had a bunch of marks on her. Yeah, um, so we ankle. Got, we got the long sleeves. Though. Long sleeves, jeans, and unfortunately tennis shoes, which y'all know is not my favorite thing. If you're hiking, you should be using shoes when you're out in the woods. Mm -hmm. All right, where do we go now? Um, there's four wheeler marks that go this way. Right through there, you can see tire marks. What is that stuff called that makes you nettle. nettle? So they were telling us that there's to be careful for nettle out here, which I've never even heard of, honestly. And apparently it's like this fuzzy looking plant, which you know, none of these plants really look fuzzy, but it burns you. So the way they were describing it to me, I envision like getting fiberglass on your skin, like pins, needles, burning, itching, crap. So, I don't know. Hammock would set up there. Yeah, it would. But the amount of mosquitoes out here is unreal. Are you getting bit? I've only been bit once on my hand. I was going to say, we got the thermos, though. Yeah. Of course, it's going to start pouring. It was like an 81% chance to rain today. And all day, like, we've just been sitting there, hanging out, reading, drinking, and it was just a little bit of sprinkle here and there. Nothing that, you know, we needed to go inside for. And now that we're out here, I mean, it's starting to come down a good little bit. No. I mean, we're pretty well covered with the trees, as long as it ain't lightning. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we when we lived in Jacksonville. At least 100 by feet. It was bad. I myself just, I could walk outside and get tore up. It doesn't matter. Um, we even had bug spray on, didn't we? Or no, oh, I think we forgot no, it. Yeah. Anyways, we went hiking and I got tore up with mosquitoes. I mean, bad. What is that? Sketchy. He's having electric fence ran. Mm -hmm. But what's in here? I bet when this river rises, though, they're probably fish beds. Because we said there's catfish and everything.
It's not that muddy back here. So they're the host of this Airbnb. She has, um, which we can link her Airbnb. Um, we'll link it down below. But she has two other Airbnbs on the property that they rent out, and one of them is a one is a bunkhouse, and it's cool. I mean, it has like this screened-in patio, and, like kitchenette area, um, air conditioning, all of that. Then she has this other thing. It is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. It's a homemade, what'd you say? It was a homemade snowmobile trailer that some guy made and her mom. Homemade, it's a homemade camper out of a snowmobile trailer. Yes. And this thing, like the side of it lifts up and has like a kitchen on it. It has like a, like a sink and everything. It has an AC unit on it. It has a double bed on the inside. It is just, it's oh, super cute. We just cute. did a big circle. We did a what? We did a big circle. <laughs> yeah, but so I'll show y'all that when we get back up there by it. It's super cute. Gunner would love being out here in this. And we could have brought Gunner with us, but ooh, it's getting muddier now. But Huh? Oh, that's right. She changed the policy. So initially it said you could bring dogs. You just got to pick up after them and, you know, everything like that. Well-behaved dogs. Which, Gunnar has his days. <laughs> Where he's well-behaved? <laughs> yeah. He picks and chooses. But, so, hold on. So, I'm glad we didn't bring him, though, because they have two dogs here on the property. And super nice. They just come up and hang out with you yeah if you're a dog people yeah yeah you gotta are. be yeah um but gunner would be barking at every little sound that's for sure but we also left the girls at home and those of you that don't know we have seven chickens at home those are our girls but we set them up sure your pets weren't bringing them along with us. <laughs> no but we have automatic feeders set up and plenty of water so when yeah, we get back we, on we tested it out before yeah know, before we the, made sure that they'd be able to survive for you know a few days by themselves and they're super low maintenance so it's not a problem all right walking back up to where the bathhouse is and the bunkhouse we have a bunch of walnut trees out here. Yeah, there's the bunkhouse. That's the bunkhouse up there. It's a separate bathroom outbuilding. Yeah, it has its own, it's a bathhouse and it has a shower, it's a full bath. Shower, toilet, sink. Um, so that right there is the bathhouse. And then up here, once we get up this hill, is this the cute little snowmobile trailer. And there's no one staying in it this weekend. But yeah, how cute is that little thing? And the side over here is what opens up to a kitchen. table set up and everything I'll take my shoes off so I can show you all the inside and there's an emergency potty in case in the middle of the night we need to go potty <laughs> so this is the inside Of course now like we have our crap spread out everywhere but it has 
a full size bed. Um, you know, it's on a frame and everything. Super comfortable. You can stand up in here without a problem. I mean, Josh doesn't have a problem standing up at all, but it's huge. I mean, there's quite a bit of room in here. That's for sure. You get to control that. <laughs> well, as soon as you get up here, you... <laughs> oh, Lord. Go, woman. Go on, get. Yeah, under the bridge and to the left. Yeah, sweet little girl waving. Hi. <laughs> uh -oh. You're almost there. Where? <laughs> Where are you going? You got turned around? Oh, Lord of mercy. Go get a refund. <laughs> Are you sure you can make it in the river? Or do you need to just stay in this little cut? I don't know that I can make it in life right now. Oh, God. I'll let you go through first. Good idea. And then go to the left. Uh, you got a life vest. And you can swim. <laughs> so you're fine. The water is cold, though. beautiful day though. It's a beautiful day, even with the overcast. Yep. It's like the lazy river. <laughs> it is when you're not paddling. What are you, 10 minutes in? Go and get. You want to just tether them together? Make me do all the work? 
Might as well have gotten a dang canoe. Well, hello there. So nice of you to come see me. <laughs> this requires coordination, and we both know what this one's going to have. How we know? Battle us. <laughs> Hold on. Get away from me. Next time we're getting a canoe. Oh, so you can just sit there. Uh huh. That's what you do best. You sit there, look pretty. Drink coffee. <laughs> You're going in circles. Did you fall in? <laughs> oh, I heard a little splash. What, what are you doing, babe? I don't know. Well, let's turn and see so everybody can watch. <laughs> She's been going in circles doing 360s for the last 100 yards of this river. <laughs> Oh. 